Welcome to our third library cafe. My name is Frank Brady and I'm one of the teaching and research development librarians here. Teaching and research development librarians are a dedicated team who are here to help you and support you with your assignments and research. I'm going to introduce you to my colleague Kieran Quinn, who is the research librarian. How are you, Hello. Kieran? Big wave there from Kieran. The purpose of the library cafes are to have a chat about the support and resources that are available to you as students of MU Library. And we will tell you things, how things work and the changes due, due to the level five restrictions. I'd like to reassure you that the library is here to help you, whether you're on the campus or off it, and we can always be contacted. Today, we're going to talk to you about how the library works, how it is set up, and what our role is in supporting you during your time here. But the first thing we're going to talk about is we're going to answer some of the questions you've submitted to us on Instagram. There have been quite a few queries about the new restrictions of under level five. The library will continue to provide essential services to support researchers and researchers, researchers and students um, throughout the level five restrictions. This will entail maintaining access to online resources, access to study space and access to as much physical material as possible. We would encourage you to please use our online services and content first and consider carefully if you need to use the on campus services. To help you during level five, we have a dedicated guide on working and studying remotely. You'll find the lat latest details of our library services and lots of tips on how best to study off campus and use our online resources effectively. We will keep this guide up to date throughout the year and it's located here. Just going to go to the library website. Go to guides and tutorials. If you come over here to A to Z of guides, and a lot of the guides that are mentioned today will all be available here in this A to Z guide. It's going to scroll all the way down here to working remotely, and you can see there's information on our current on campus services, studying in the library, preparing for your visit, uh, the click and collect book retrieval, and there's information on working from home, support for students, and uh, support for uh, researchers as well. Um, so one of the other questions is, I still don't have my student card, uh, so I can't go to the library and I can't concentrate in my room. There are students that still don't have their library cards or their student cards. We are advising students to email the records office at records.office at mu.ie. Under the current restrictions, the library building is open, but is only offering our limited services, book study spaces and or click and collect service. Students without cards can book a study space if they have a student number and a university email address. The admission desk will give them a temporary card to allow them access to the library. Students without a card that have a student number and a university email can also use the click and collect service. If you have any questions about it, just call the library or check out the library website. I'm going to pass over to you now, Kieran. All right, thanks, Frank. So another uh, common question would be, how can I find the subject guides? So the subject guides are guides that are designed specifically for your subject area. So for example, they advise you on things like uh, what are the best databases, the best journals to use, and they're located from the library web page. Click on guides and tutorials and scroll down the page to your subject and then just select your subject and click in. Uh, another question was, how is the writing centre operating this semester? So they'll advise you on, you know, uh, grammar, constructing your essay and so on. So to, find out what they're up to, you'll need to get in contact with the Writing Centre directly. Go to the University website menu, A to Z directory and Centre for Teaching and Learning Writing Centre. But the library also has a guide on academic writing, which was developed in collaboration with the Writing Centre, and that's located under Guides and Tutorials and Learning Resources. Um, another question is, I need help in academic writing and referencing, where should I be looking? So for that, you can have a look at our guides on successful searching and academic writing, and they'll give you a step-by-step -step, uh, guide through the process as well. Um, another question related to that, how on earth do we reference? So for a lot of you, referencing is going to be quite new and it, it's basically revolves around um, citations, 
or footnotes and a bibliography in your essays. So there are lots of different referencing styles and you'll need to check with your department to see which one to use. So common ones, for example, would be Harvard or APA or Chicago. And it's very important to stick to the one that the department recommends and the, the variation of that style. So be sure to check your handbook. The, guide, the library also has a guide on referencing and plagiarism, and this will provide you with relevant information on what is referencing, avoiding plagiarism, plagiarism, what referencing style to use, and examples and details about some of the software that's to help you with your referencing. So that's all there in the library guide on referencing. So Frank, back to you. So we're going to discuss now how the library works. The library is located in a physical building and it's available online as well. And everything you need for assignments and support will be available from both the physical library and the library homepage. And you'll be able to get expert help and support from our team. You can borrow books and other material in hard copy by visiting the library building, but we also have a huge range of online books and journals, and you can access these anytime from home. The library building may look like an imposing structure, but it's located at this, because it's located in the center of the university, it is in many ways the heart of the university. We understand how often students feel overwhelmed and a little scared when they come into the library, but that's normal uh, to feel that way no matter what age you are. The library is a welcoming space for all students where you can find the information that you're looking for uh, or find a space just to take a break, take some time out. You must be a student and have a library card to get past the library desk and the gates. Be aware of the changed layout of the library due to the COVID restrictions and please follow all the library advice. The library space is set out in a way to help you find your information as easily as possible. The ground floor has the library desk and there's staff there to help and answer questions or queries that you may have. The library website has a library chat box for you to ask questions if you're off the campus and the library search catalog will search all of our information, whether it's print or electronic. If you're off the campus and you want to get access to our electronic resources, if you go to the library homepage and scroll down the page to also in this section and click on off campus access, it'll ask you for your ID and your password, it's a computer, your computer ID and password. And this should be the first thing that you do um, every time that you're searching for information off the campus. It'll give you automatic access uh, to all of our uh, online information. Um, most of the information in the library is of an academic nature. It's of a high standard, it's created by students and lecturers in an academic area, and it's based on the work of other researchers. The library helps to support its users by providing access to all this information and research, and it provides you with skills to explore the search process from defining a search strategy to evaluating and recording your search results. So we're available to help on all of those things. I'm going to pass you back over to Kieran now as well. Again. Thanks, Frank. So I'm just going to talk a bit on finding library resources. So at this point, you might have got your reading list and you want to find uh, the items that are on your reading list. So for that, you'll use library search and library search is used for both physical and online resources. And as mentioned, don't forget to log in for off campus access so you can access the resources. So the resources will be things like um, print books, ebooks, electronic journal articles, company reports, newspapers, a whole range of information is available through library search. And you can use library search at home and it'll tell you whether a book is on loan or available. Um, it may be available electronically, for example, and you, so you won't need to come into the library at all. Uh, so you can check out using the library tab on the library website to see what your borrowing entitlements are. So they'll vary depending on what course you're doing. You'll have different borrowing entitlements. So if you need to find print resources, they are located on the second and third floors of the library. Uh, they're organized in a numerical system that goes from 001 all the way to 900. And when you search for an item on the library catalog, library search, it'll provide you with a number for a title. So for example, something like adult learning uh, will be at 374.22. Um, and they're alphanumeric, so they'll come with the author initials as well. So it might say 374.22 CON and you'll find that item on the bookshelf. Um, you very quickly you'll get to know the different numbers. So history is 900s, literature is 800s, social sciences is 300s, and, and so on. You'll get very familiar with that, where your books might be. 
Um, on the library website, go to use, using the library and then library layout for further information on how to navigate your way around the library. Or you can also ask staff when you come in. And there's also information banners uh, located on all floors that should come off the stairwell to point you in the right direction. To borrow the books, you can do that through self-service machines, but there's also um, a click and collect service as well. So if you didn't want to say come into the library, you can contact the library and they'll have the book ready for you when you come in and you can just take it with you. Um, and you'll find details on that on the library update section on the library homepage. They'll have full details on the click and collect service. So back to you, Frank. Well, whether you're in the library or you're off campus, you will have access to all of our electronic resources. Electronic books and resources are available 24 seven. The library has access to over half a million electronic books and huge amounts of other up to date online information, such as electronic journals. The most relevant information will be current and usually online, and that's the information you'd be looking for. Ebooks are not part of your borrowing entitlement, so you can access them as often as you like. They will allow you to search within a book for key terms and information, and many of them will allow you to highlight passages and make notes within, to, within them. There's a good guide on uh, the library webpage. If you go into guides and tutorials and click on learning resources and list online, and click here using ebooks. It'll give you a step by step guide on um, using our um, electronic books. Um, I'm going to pass you back to Kira now. Hey, thanks, Frank. So I just want to stress again, um, you know, the, the role we have in helping you as students that the, the library staff are there to help you find the material you need, whether you're in the library or studying from home to help you succeed in your studies. So we'll help and teach you the skills and techniques needed to find that information and use it in your assignments. So there's library staff within the library building, but you can also contact us through email and we can arrange meetings and tutorials via Teams to show you how to effectively use our resources and learn the skills that allow you to do it yourself. And Again, just a reminder, Maynooth University, we have a huge range of library guides that you can access through the, the tutorials link, uh, the guides and tutorials link on the library homepage. And so things like academic writing, searching, subject guides and so on, they're all fully accessible. And you'll also find under learning resources, uh, list online. So list is the library information skills tutorials. So they've been recorded online and they'll again give you information on a variety of topics. And you can also test your knowledge on them with a quiz at the end. So that's it, back to you, Frank. Well, that's all for today, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do check out the other cafes that were held in the last few weeks. These are available on the support for students section of the Working Remotely Guide. Um, just to remind you as well, uh, we'll have updates on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, the library is open next week during the reading week. Um, so do get in contact with us if you've got any queries. Thank you. All, right. all, all the right. best.